Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All the info, none of the fluff, so let's get to it. A few people have asked me about my layout and toolbar and stuff like that. I've already made a video about my top toolbar, but today I just wanted to show you how to customize the overall look of Reaper. So for example, I got this toolbar up here. I got my mixer over here and also whatever track I select goes right next to it. So I have like a little mini mixer here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I got a second portable install of Reaper and it's essentially just the default settings. Let's try to open a toolbar. And by default, I normally put this on top. So as I click and drag, you see these gray areas it tells me that it can place the toolbar right there. So let's put it up here and it goes automatically below the transport. Now let's open a mixer. The way I like to do it is for my mixer to be kind of tucked to the side. So I'm going to dock this and it actually gets automatically docked over here. But let's just say it got docked over here. So again, I click on the title. I choose right here and I set it there. And now I'm going to shrink it. And another thing I want to do is since I usually don't put too many effects on my master, I want my master fader to get bigger. And then this one can remain small. So I can look at my plugins and sense. Well, one thing I don't like is my toolbar having to be divided into two two lines so I can bring my mouse here to where it's green double click it will extend it all the way out so now my toolbar is viewed full and now let's bring in some extra windows some windows that I work with often for example my action menu I can right click on it I can say dock and it'll by default dock it up there but I don't like that I like it on the side it went all the way above so I can double click and now it looks like this just quickly gonna add a few more windows okay so one important thing is if I drag this and when you see the small icon, that small icon means that this will be a tab next to this docker or it can come here. But when it's a full line, it means that it would just place itself below that one. But right now I just want this to go next to these ones. So again, as you can see, I can put it just on its own window down there. I want all of them to go in the same place. So let's say I'm happy with this layout. If I save my screen set, let's just save it. This is our main editing. And now if I load it with F7, everything comes back and it's focused on undo history. So the first thing I want to do is I don't want to focus on that. Now if I close my actions window and open it again, it will come to the same place. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually close these. Then I'm going to go to my main editing and I'm going to save this. So now if I press F7, it'll put everything back to where it was. And if I want, I can open my actions menu there. It'll just automatically open there. My media explorer goes there. My project bay can go there. So that's how to save one. And now I can make another one for, for example, when I'm video editing. So now we're recreating this one. And this is my video editing toolbar where I have my video in the middle. I have some tools toolbars and my effects browser and track manager up here so I can for example grab any item and add a plug into it then video and performance are in the middle and then on the side I have region manager actions and media explorer so when I'm video editing I want my track groups that's another toolbar I have I want that small over here so again if I hold command it will put it in a new window we don't want that I just want to normal lift drag it so that it comes on the side like this and now let's come back to video and I'm going to put it up here then I'm going to grab my actions and I'm going to command and hold it and put it over here then i'm going to double click here so that they come up here so let's just first create three of the bays and then we'll talk about this so now we got three of these babies over there and then i'm going to move this just up here so now we have like three little windows over here so with my with my made toolbar now that i have made all of those i'm going to go position toolbar at top of main window and that way it'll go and be above everything i'm going to put my toggle track groups right here bring the video over here i personally like to see my effects browser also docked and so this is now my video toolbar and i still have my mixer here so again i can go command e and i can save this one as my video editing so the last screen set i will show you is mixer half page so the way i use that is through the cycle action that i've shown before so i'll put the link up there but essentially i select these items and i want to see just these items in my mixer so i hit my hotkey and now as you can see i see 7 8 9 11 and 12 in my mixer and nothing else when i'm done i hit it on back to normal which is my favorite thing that i ever made in reaper so for this one we want to get rid of all this stuff beam bam boom we're expanding it like this. So I also want this to be a little thinner, maybe like this. So I see my timeline, I see my channels and I see my mixer taking up about half of the page. So I can now save this one and I call this mixer half page. So now with these load keys, I can go really quickly between my main editing, which is this one. And whenever I bring the actions, they're over there. I press F8. Everything is here. My action window is here. Media Explorer is here. Video is in the middle. This is kind of similar to how video editing software works. Then I can go back to my main editing. All this stuff is here. 
and we don't see my action list but if i hit the hotkey it's there and then i got my mixer half page mode with video up there this stuff a little smaller so really cool i don't want to make you do it exactly like me if you want to feel free to but just like overall when you're working with different kinds of windows and based on your workflow and based on what you got going docking things here and there and then saving screen sets and then being able to quickly switch between them is really valuable have a good weekend and i'll see you on monday bye bye